We have a uh, black carp. We uh, just caught four of these black carp, ranging in size from any about 10 to 40 pounds. They can get up to close to 100 pounds. They are the fifth, uh, what we would call uh, big uh, minnows in the family Cyprinidae that were brought into the United States uh, over a period of time for aquaculture ponds to control, in this case, control snails. And so the farmers brought in the black carp because they are molluscivores to control these snails. And they probably worked okay, but like all the other Asian carp that were brought in previously, the silver, the big head, the grass carp, they eventually escaped into the Mississippi River where they established reproductive populations. And now they are showing up in commercial fish catches. This fish is a little bit is different than the, uh, the big head and the silver carp in that it eats mussels or snails. It has a specialized pharyngeal teeth that can crush the snail and then they'll eat the meat out of the snail. And so because there are molluscivores, there is concern that they will begin to impact some of our native unionted mussels. And there are you know, probably 45 species of endangered mussels in the Mississippi River and tributaries and elsewhere. So it could have an impact on mussel populations in the United States. They do spawn in the rivers like the other Asian carp. So there's no reason we would not expect for these things to continue to expand in their abundance and in their range and begin to move further north like the silvers and the big heads. So today we have essentially five uh, Asian carp reproducing in the United States. The black carp, the grass carp, the big head, the silver carp, and then the common carp. There are groups now looking at the black carp in a lot more detail, trying to figure out what the spawning conditions are, uh, how fast they mature, and what their diet consists of. Are they actually eating unionted mussels? And if they are, then, uh, then that would be a concern for resource managers throughout the range of these species.